Hi there, my name is Justin Putney, and I'm really excited today to show you my new uh, Flash extension called Smart Mouth, which automatically takes your audio and syncs it up with your lip shape, your your mouth shapes, to uh, speed up the lip syncing workflow in Flash. So this demo is going to be in CS5, but this extension will be compatible back to CS3, and. Uh, if you've ever done lip syncing in Flash, you know that it can be a really tedious, really time-consuming process to go through each frame and scrub the audio and figure out which mouth it's going to be and and then put that mouth shape in place. Hopefully you're not drawing it by hand. Hopefully you've, uh, you've been using one of the uh, sim systems with symbols to speed it up, but it still takes a whole lot of time, especially if you're animating you know, a, a, a large number of frames per second, like 24, but even at 12 frames, it's definitely one of the most tedious things you can do in animation at all. So, rather than uh, go on and on about this, why don't I just show it to you? So, um, here we've got a timeline, and we're going to take a look at a couple different, uh, couple different uh, characters with different mouths here. So if I just play this back, you'll get the beginning of the audio here. Why don't we just do somebody else's poem? Okay, so that's uh, a female character here. So I'm going to uh, select this whole area. And I'm going to go up to my commands menu. Hit smart mouth. And if you've got a really long file, it might take a little time to load. So uh, just to walk you through what's in the interface here. Um, you can choose which layer contains your audio. It's automatically figured out that that's the dialogue layer. Uh, you select the the layer that has the mouth that you're going to be editing, so that's right here. Uh, start frame and an end frame. I can uh, jump to the end frame of the flash document, or I can reset it to the selection. Uh, I have an action for what's going to be output. Am I going to overwrite existing frames? Uh, only create new keyframes, uh, which is what we're going to do. Uh, am I going to only create a guide layer uh, with those um, shapes to, to work from as a guide, or potentially export it as XML and then load in you know different sounds dynamically uh, that can then be matched up to a mouth shape. So. I'm going to select, actually there's, uh, let me show, there's uh, a couple different modes here, so um, some people like to swap individual symbols, so in this case um, you limit it to uh, what would be a folder in here, and then select symbols from within that folder, so you'd have a symbol for the A mouse shape and O mouse shape, and if you're not familiar with these, um, these uh, sort of diagrams here and letters correspond to mouth shapes that are um, generally, generally re referred to as phonemes or visemes. They're the basic units of sound that uh, make up almost all speech and these are just kind of shorthand because actually um, in this case the O is going to be an O sound and an OO sound and um, M is going to include B and P and F will include V and so forth but this is just kind of the shorthand to use as a guide to match up uh, whatever shapes you have in there so another method is to go in and swap to have a single symbol that contains all of your mouth shapes and then swap out each frame so you can do that here you can set that to frame 10 for instance uh, but I'm going to use the my favorite way which is labels. So, and uh, this will automatically be picked up in the future, but you can see I've selected labels. It's already inserted all of these for me, pretty much figured out the right ones. So, and actually, maybe I will uh, show that inside this character. You have a series of mouth shapes, and if I bring over properties panel and see that I've labeled each of these frames there's an O 
e and so on so that's what you're seeing when you open up the smart mouth panel and go to labels and grab this character's mouth and so I've got O, A, these are all correspond to labels inside the mouth symbol and so this these particular characters are not very complex they don't even have seven shapes so I'm gonna map S to E and let's go ahead and map F to E as well and then just click the button why don't we just do somebody else's analyzes goes through and there are the keyframes so let's take a look at that why don't we just do somebody else's poem so there you have it and it did the female voice pretty well there um, and this uh, this is a sneak peek so I'm still working on the algorithm it's gonna get even better but I actually think that was pretty good and then got a male character oh, no, 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 it's it was good. I thought I... it's got a single mouth shape there so I'm gonna select this whole block and again if I go in here you can see he's got all of his mouth shapes and they're all labeled as well so I've got that selected I'm gonna go up to smart mouth and got the right layer, the right symbol, the labels and I'm gonna set S to E and let's just try F to E again so these are kind of guesses. Some, in some cases, if you don't have an F, um, M might work better, or closed mouth shape. So we're just doing it real rough right now. Go through. Just gonna oh, no, no, it's no, it's it was good. It, I, thought, I thought that, you know, it, it was more about actually uh, form than just about language. Okay. So then, if we preview that, oh, no, 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 it was good. I thought, I thought that you know, it, it was more about actually uh, form than just about language. Let's see that. And you can see some of these places. There's a little bit of subtle subtlety in the uh, audio file, and it didn't quite pick that up. So uh, probably could have boosted the audio a little bit. Um, and I'll, I'm gonna see about actually improving that in the smart mouth algorithm, but you can see it did, it did a good job. Let's just play that again. Oh, no, no, it was good. I thought, I thought that, you know, it, it... Pretty good. Okay, so l let me just show you one more example, totally different character. Um, this uh, wonderful character was created by Paul Tranny, and he graciously lent this to me to demonstrate this. And... Let me just play the audio so you can hear it first. Please, please don't judge me, sir. Okay. So, I'm going to select the mouth layer. Again, same way. And um, let me show you the, the frame sync panel, which is um, one way to uh, manually update these once you're done. Um, this will just show you all of the labels that Paul's added to this symbol. So he's done a very good job at detailing each, each mouth shape. So you can say that, see this is A and I, F and B, and then all of the consonants in here with F, excuse me, with S. So let me just hide that for a minute and go up to Smart Mouth and picked up the audio, picked up the mouth layer, go to Labels automatically loads in all of the correct labels and I'm just gonna run that please, please don't judge me sir and then I'm gonna go ahead and play that and we'll see what it looks like please please don't judge me sir so it's pretty good but uh, still at this point you might uh, you might go in and tweak some of these elements by hand as you would have to in any case please please don't judge me sir so you can go in you can use uh, you can use the free frame sync extension to very quickly if you haven't seen this you can go in and just select a different mouth shape but uh, smart mouth has done all of the heavy heavy lifting there and uh, hopefully should save a lot of time uh, it's
probably going to be out sometime late this year, 2010. We're already getting close and retail uh, for about $45 a license. So keep an eye out for it and uh, hope to have it out and available soon. Thanks a lot for watching.